Dude, last time I went to Lebanon, like a month ago, a month ago, everyone had beards. What the hell is going on with the beards? <laughs> like, hello, and welcome back to my channel with another video. Oh my god, I was gonna fall. That was a great introduction. <laughs> Let's try this again. Hello, and welcome back to my channel with another video. Okay, so I've been asked, sorry for not doing this until now, but I've been asked to do a video about Lebanese men. Um, yeah. <laughs> of course, I know about Lebanese men in general. My brother is a Lebanese. I have two brothers. <laughs> and I've lived in Lebanon for 19 years. Actually, a bit less. 16? 16 years. Lebanese men. Let's see what I know about Lebanese men. What pops into my mind, the first thing, that Lebanese men usually, <laughs> they like to, I'm not saying every Lebanese guy, but I'm just saying in general, they like to take care of their looks a lot. Dude, last time I went to Lebanon, like a month ago, a month ago. Everyone had beards. What the hell is going on with the beards? <laughs> I get it. Sometimes it's very appealing. It's nice when it's nicely groomed. And Lebanese guys usually groom. They groom it really nicely. But it doesn't fit everyone. Everyone has a beard there. It's so crazy. It's like the trend of beards right now in Lebanon. Most of them, they like to take care of themselves. They, they probably smell really good. Like. In the university I was in, I spent a year there. They smell really good all the time. Very groomed, very well dressed. They they really think of fashion. It's very simplistic. It's not too crazy. Uh, like a nice blouse or a nice t-shirt with like nice new jeans. That's mostly what they they're go they're gonna go for. And very simple. Uh, also nice shoes, maybe a leather jacket. They love their sunglasses. Mm. I hate sunglasses. <laughs> no, I do not wear sunglasses. I do not like wearing sunglasses. Some of them just wear it without even like the sun is here. They wear it in their room. I'm like, dude, we're indoors. You know that. They like to pretend they know. <laughs> they know their stuff. It's like they know English. I mean, even if they can't speak English, it's their accent that kind of throws me off. I don't have the best accent. Trust me, I'm, I'm terrible sometimes. Sometimes I speak like a chicken. But them, it's more like, you you know you don't have to speak English. Just speak Arabic. It's, I don't know if that's still a thing. They keep uh, calling themselves, like, their friend, like, hey man, or like, why? Uh, they're very chill and cool. Very chill. Like most of the buddies men are very chill. I don't think they complicate things. Uh, some of them are shy. They tend to be shy. Like some of them can be. Some of them can be like very outgoing. It depends. They like to take care of women. Is like. From what I've seen, I think it's just a cultural thing. Like they pay for everything. They take care of everything. I went out with people. Like as a group, like some most of them would be guys, and then you know, like me and one girl, and they would pay for us even though we tell them not to. If we get lunch or something, like sitting down in a restaurant, they would insist they would pay. They like family. They they love staying with their mom. Their mom is a huge part of their lives. I think also it's like. It's a cultural thing. They like they don't like to make her, you know, angry. They would probably do what she wants <laughs> most of the time. I don't think it's a bad thing, but sometimes, you know, if you want to get somewhere, you don't always have to listen to your parents. In my opinion, in my experience, even though your parents have so much experience, they they will they will help you a lot but sometimes you need to figure out things yourself because you won't get you won't really 
understand what they mean till you go through it. I'm a bad daughter. <laughs> I don't listen to my mom or my dad or anyone. I just do what I want. Um, but yeah, they they listen. They're very protective. Some of them, not all of them, but some of them are very protective to their sisters. Like my brother's very overprotective of me. It's like that. Like oh my god, don't like don't anyone touch you. Is so, not all of them are like that, but it happens that my brothers are like that. It's so cute. My only problem, lots of them, not all of them. I wouldn't say all of them. Lots of them like to smoke, and that goes for women too. It's not good. <laughs> they will like freak of cigarettes or hookah, especially hookah. Dudes, what's wrong with the hookah? Just let it go out of your mouth. Just like let it go. They love their social life um, a lot. They love to hang out. How you can't recognize a Lebanese guy by their beards? Usually they have big brown eyes. Most of the time, some of them have some of them have colored eyes. Not all of them, but some of them have colored eyes. Uh, they can have brown to black uh, hair. Uh, still, some of them can be blonde, or some of them, I know redheads before. I've seen redheads. My mom, my mom's family is all green eyes and blue eyes, and some of them are redheads and blondes. Um, it can be very tan to super white. My dad is super tan, tan, super tan. He's very very tan and with black hair. And my mom is a blonde, very white girl, green eyes, <laughs> long eyelashes. <laughs> like I look at my eyelashes, they long. When I look at my brothers, I'm like, oh. And they don't need eyelash extensions, that for sure. They tend to be from five feet seven. You can find shorter, of course, but I'm just saying average to like six feet three, four, or something. But most of them are like 5 feet 10, 5 feet 11. So that's like 175, I don't know what I know. Between 175 and 180. They're not bad. <laughs> Lebanese people, most of them are actually very fit. When they're kids, they tend to, you know, eat a lot. You can see, actually, I saw many fat kids there, but once they grow up, they, they start to take care of their diet and they get really fit. Um, but yeah, that's Lebanese guys for you. Uh, I think I missed so many things. I might do a part two when I remember. But if you enjoyed my video, please like it. If you want to see more of my content, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.